Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to try a new game that I've discovered called The Bonfire 2 Uncharted Shores. I'm going to be trying to survive 100 days in this game. Um, here are the first 1 through 10 days that I've completed. So, get some snacks and enjoy. All right, and we are in day one. I am putting the bonfire down. This is basically the like the light of the tower of town that I'm building. It's going to be the most valuable building I ever do. I'm kind of looking around the um, map to see where stuff is. So what they're doing is they're creating a they're creating the bonfire using wood from the trees. Together. Now they are constructing it, as you can tell by the little box that they have up there. Let's choose let's get church some day. And they are done. Now I get to pick my city name. I just stuck with the regular basic name they gave me. And now we have to build a hunting lodge. So I like to put my hunting lodge right next to the game fight. Just so it's easy to access. So now they have to get throughout the video that um, the days, day one is the longest day, uh, just because I don't have the speed up factor to it, so this is going to be the longest day you'll notice, but now you can just miss so They're gathering wood for this, um, I mean, not water, whatever it is. And they are, it looks like, done. So now, I can tap the building, not that, the building, to see who will be that person's job to be the hunter. And so now, Uragu, I think is how you pronounce it, is going to kill the deer and get food for our clan. I'm going to call it a clan. So now, while he's doing hunter business, I am going to put a hut down so that we don't have to worry about sleeping next to the bonfire, because there's fun things that come out at night in the bonfire. So now they need to collect wood and put it down on the bonfire. Um, not bonfire. I keep saying bonfire, but it is the hut. Alright. It's almost about to turn night, as you can tell by the day one indicator, and it's going to switch to night. They didn't finish the hunt, which is usual, so now they get to sleep. They, they have to get their food first, but 
doesn't look to be food. Now we have guards that are scavenging the area. They kind of just roam around, get the turkey because it's stopped over. Uh, these guys will roam around to see if the is Pretty much what you have to expect at night. Midnight, you get a monster attack, and everything's good. Now we are on day three. You can see I put two more huts down alongside that logger's camp. Um, Hunter is down again. Gracious, sorry guys, um, the logger's hut. Um, 
And they're probably not going to finish tonight. Or they might. It depends on how fast they work. And they barely do. Maybe not. It looks weird. Who knows? So, now we get to assign that, that person to the logger's hut. Now we kind of just wait for night. Or the bad guy night. So, patrollers are out. person sleeping. shop and I think roads so that's unique but now we kind of just wait for day four day four is a lot and I accidentally um, pressed the big red X button on my um, logger and now I just assigned her again um, so now she is working hard collecting logs as you can tell on the top right hand corner you can see that there's a log a stew and a let um it's a hot i don't think a hide um but the logger stores up the logs in their log things we have two more workers to work through so now they're all helping us but i put one of them in the hunter's team um and i think they are speedily working so i am going to build a Carpenter air gun. I switched it with the two arrows alongside it. <clears throat> and now we kind of just wait for them to keep on building the hut. It's not going to finish today, but day five will definitely finish. Day four comes along. Do they have enough food? I do not know. But I'm putting the fisher's hut just in case for the next couple days. So if we buy the bonfire, or majority of the people, because we're seven now, it's the four. And I'm, as you can see, pausing the carpenter's workshop for whatever reason. Um, and... Oh, here, yeah, I need the bad guys. Do we win? Yes. We win today. Fine. So we get to see another day. And now we're just day five. So, we're up on day five. It's a bright morning, and the construction workers are constructing new buildings, or the hut, so we can have more people sleeping in the thing. Now, this person wants five food. We don't have five food, so I'm gonna have to reject her. She's gone. I usually don't do that just because it's a waste of resources, and we don't know what she's gonna do with it, so. Well, with that, the workers have worked pretty hard, and they have completed another hut. But will you put in the people's the hut? I do not know. <laughs> we have two workers, so the warthog was pretty easy for them. Um, yet, for whatever reason, they did that. All right, so now we're putting other people into the hut. We don't want to put our guards there. You can tell if they're a guard by if it says sleeping next to the bonfire on it. Um, so they put, I put two people that aren't guards in there. And now they are working on the uh, fishing dock because I paused both of the other builds, as you can tell by the pause symbol above the gray or the brown, heck, no, brown tiles. Uh, so now they're working on the thing they. They can't finish it because it's night time. It's night time of day five. Everything goes really quick here since I double speeded it. So now we have, we only have two people. I've noticed I haven't put anything up, more guards in the thing and that could lead to a downfall. You want to have a lot of guards just in case. So another person, another fight. And we defeat. So we get to live another day, and hopefully we can survive the whole 10 days so I can make another episode. So. 
and it is day six and we are off for another day of working in the bonfire or whatever i named my town workers are kind of still working on the fishing hunt it takes a lot of wood um and you have the warthogs that the people or the hunters are hunting and we have the loggers just steadily logging trees while the guards are sleeping because they're slackers. So, anyways, I'll watch the workers work. Doesn't look like we're gonna finish the, uh, Fishing hunt, I am preparing for the fishing hunt to be used because I downgraded or downgraded someone to unemployed. Um, because frankly, we don't need two hunters going on. We have 15 out of 20 wood. So definitely not going to finish today because it just turned night. So now we kind of wait for the monsters to come. I don't think it's going to be wolves this time since it's been five days in a row since we've had wolves. Um... Yeah. Four out of seven people are sleeping. Two guards, one person sleeping at the bonfire. Which probably isn't the safest. I probably need to upgrade that. Oh, and we have spiders. The hunters just run away, so this person has four defenses. Uh, I think she's okay. She will definitely be okay. Because there's only one left and the guards are coming. So, yeah. It was a bad cut, but she survived. Barely. She had three quarters of a heart. And I upgraded the, um, the hut, so now she can sleep and hunt. Upgrade it by going, clicking on the thing, and then going to the upgrade button, and then seeing what the resources have, and if you tap the resources, then you can, you can upgrade most of the buildings, like the hunter's lodge and the wood huts. But now we are constructing the fishing hut, so now we don't have to rely just on, um, just on regular old warthog. So, hopefully we can construct pretty fast on this, um, fishing hut. And we have a random person. We are going to accept a new worker, because we need workers. And... Now she will help construct the fishing lodge. It looks like it's almost complete. Whatever his name is, is still harvesting that warthog that he's been, that he killed a long time ago. Um, and we just about finished that fishing hunt. We finished it. Now we can add someone to work on it. And we add, I think, Zehu? I think that's how you pronounce the name. So we have two people working in the fishing dock. Um, everybody's going to bed besides that one person because I didn't upgrade. We don't have enough to upgrade. So now we kind of just wait for the bad guys to happen again. Yay! So here we are. And we have the bad guys. What is it with my guards being so scared? They're so scared. They're so frightened of the, the, the woods. And that person sleeping is so defenseless. Anyways, we get the job done. Now it is day eight. Eventually. Hopefully. They're still guarding the place. But now it is day eight. And now we have two sources of supplies. We don't give the five food to the person who don't have five food. And the hunter is in low health to get. So but now I don't know what workers are workers are working on the hut. They're working on the hut.
construction is going strong on the next hut. We have three food again. So that's great. We have five hide and like 80 wood. We have a lot of wood. Um, I probably could upgrade the hut, but I don't think I will. But food is coming in steadily. So, yeah. It's almost day nine, so we won't finish the hut, I don't think. I would be very surprised if we did. But we don't, probably. So, now we have another night. Great. So, off everybody goes to bed. As we wait for the animal to come. And there they are. Again, my guard just ran over the beast. And my other guard has this and almost dies. Ugh, don't like that. But we are still safe. We have still weak people. And we get to upgrade one of our guards. So I will get to choose strength. Or agility. I don't know. Well, and strength. Yes, strength. So now she has better strength so she can hit harder. It is day nine. We have food and hunt. Hunt is about to be. Hunt. We're gonna upgrade strength for the hunter because we need strength. He's pretty weak. He's literally. Oh. Day 9 is now turning into night. Everybody's sleeping after a good day of work. And we are about to hit day 10. Yippee! So, fishing dog is one person. We had two people. So that's great. Now we can't wait for the monsters again. zoomed in view of the work hut, but it doesn't matter. Everybody's working now. Hunters are having two deer, but I doubt he's gonna get both. Why do I doubt he's gonna get both? There's too much wood. I delete 39 of it. So now workers have it. They are able to put more wood in their um, hut. So he gets both deer though. That's surprising. But currently working on the carpenter area. We get the carpenters done. Now we can add carts and spears. Usually you want the most intelligent person to work it, but we only have one one dude there, so now we just upgrade and try to get carts for everybody. You know. So great. They're working on carts. We have carts now. Or get more carts. Great. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. It just turned night. We're working hard. 
we have a lot of food now, and we're going to build roads, because we have the option to now. So we built the carpenter. That's great. We have an upgrade. We're going to forget about the upgrade. Don't worry about me. We're upgrading our roads. That's what I'm upgrading. So, boom. We upgraded and put it to the fishing hut. Yay. I added roads to the uh, fisherman hut. But now we have to suffer the consequences of only having two guards to finish this big ugly- Oh, my guard just randomly left the fight. Great. Now we are in deep trouble. See, that's the problem with two guards. We didn't really do well with the two guards. They came back to bite us. I can't get it fast enough to be in the bonfire. So she's going to get killed probably. Um, so this is great. Like, really great. Really, really great. We have six people left. Can't really do much. Um, it's about to turn day, but this is the consequences of not having spears because we didn't up we didn't build the carpenter first. We should have done that. And fishing hut. So he goes bye bye. That is. Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of the bonfire series um, I am making. Um, hopefully we can recover and come back at full swing, get some armor and tools and stuff like that. Uh, we really much appreciate it. See you next time. Bye bye